The world's longest running comedy music concert series is coming from inside your house! <laughs> wow, <laughs> that went to a dark place. <laughs> Virtual MarsCon 2021 is taking place online for free on March 12th, 13th, and 14th. Hi, MarsCon! <laughs> This year's event will have live stream performances by The Great Luke Ski, Devo Spice, Worm Quartet, Insane Ian, TV's Kyle and Lindzilla, Il Nage, Beth Kinderman, Tom Smith, Throwing Toasters, Amy Engelhart, an AMA interview with Ookla the Mop, and this year's music guest of honor, Robbie Ellis. We'll also be doing a virtual Q&A with the man who has been playing drums in Weird Al Yankovic's band for over 40 years, John Bermuda Schwartz. Drum solo! For info on how to watch, go to MarsCon.com. And for info on the comedy music track, go to MarsConComedy.com. And uh, do watch out for flying lobsters. Thanks for listening, funny music fans. And I hope to see you all at Virtual MarsCon 2021. Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. Happy Valentine's Day weekend. My name is Insane Ian, and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this week I'm reacting to two Valentine's Day-themed songs from the Stupendium. First, I'm reacting to Rip and Tear, My Way to Your Heart, his Doom Eternal song from last year, and exclusively, I'm reacting to Vending Machine of Love. The theme song to the game Only Cans, which was released today. But if you're on my Patreon, you got to see it early. Uh, you know, Patreon, it's a fun thing. It helps support this channel. It helps me make new videos. Also, if you'd like to vote on a poll of what next stupendium song you'd like me to react to, you can head over to patreon.com slash insaneian and uh, vote in the poll. See which ones I'm doing next. Of course, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing also helps the channel out, and I appreciate any support you can give. But first, let's get into these songs. We're going to go with last year's song first, and then this year's Keep You Waiting for the Newness. Yes, I know, his song came out today, and he's, he's gifted me with the ability to react it <laughs> apparently hasn't gifted me with the ability to speak. He's gifted me with the ability to react to the song that came out the same day as the song. You know what I mean. It's fine. Anyway, let's do the uh, the Doom one here. <laughs> I just, I don't know why it was mad to just, wah. All right, it's fine. I'm excited. That's what, that's what's happening. I'm excited. Ooh, a little... Demon Horn Stupendium logo, and the Stupendium is written out in the Doom font. I always like nice touches like that, honestly. Ever since the day I woke up in space, trying to scream at demons that overrun the base. Okay, what? <laughs> Starting off first. <laughs> Stupendium in the Doom Guy helmet already. <laughs> already has got me laughing. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, that's that's good stuff. <laughs> and it's like a boy band song. Ever since the day I woke up in space, trying to scream at demons that overrun the base. Up to a slab and the lab is an artifact. I've been dreaming of the day that you'll be here again. It's been two years, <laughs> and my heart breaks. Send me away, set your gaze upon the human race. I'll get you back, I don't care what it takes. My lover's twin barrel, it'll take your breath away. Oh my. So need to world collide. I feel your heartbeat rise. The oxygen sparks are flying. I want to take you out, and I can't deny. I'll be crushing on you till the day you die. I want to get inside. So, you. It's so much oh, more. Subtle. It's not my first time. <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the three of them in the different outfits. Oh, it, it is a boy band song. Oh. Oh, okay. People who suggested this one, thank you so much. This is, this is quality. It's quality stuff. I appreciate the boy band thing. I did a, I did a boy band love song myself many years ago. Uh, yeah. Good, good stuff. Holy crap. 
Wanted to kick you out. I can't deny. Want to get inside you and so much more. Oh, I'm Tondra's. <laughs> the cloud being a cacodemon. That's just, oh, that's perfect. That's so good. I think, I, I think I'm naming the right creature, regardless of if I am or not. The, the cloud being one of the creatures that, oh, that's just so good. And here's the thing that as, I just wonder as a, as a comedian myself and somebody who does music videos, he's wearing the full Doom Guy helmet. And he's, he's moving like he's singing along. Is he actually lip-syncing under the helmet? Is he actually... Is it actually going along with that? Or is he just moving his head as if he were doing it? Because I know if it were me, I'd probably still be lip-syncing under the helmet. Just... Just cause. You kind of feel like you have to. Even though it's not being seen. Just, just for authenticity. You know, you're moving your head in the right way for it. You know, just the way your head would normally move if you were saying those words. I say as I kind of over move my head while I'm talking. I look like a bobblehead right now. I'm sorry. To your heart, and it's true. The legions of doom couldn't keep me from you. World's end. And the coordinated I started, dancing. I swear I'll rip and tear my way to your heart. Being in the bath with just the helmet on. Quality. Quality stuff. <laughs> Okay, I gotta rewind it there for a minute because I hit the wrong button. But, uh, the, the, the rose petals making the pentagram. Solid ideas all around for this, man. Oh, so good. So good. Don't mean I'm not the slayer. Think you wanna twirl with the underworld girl, it don't matter where you're hiding and find to find you I'll be at your layer. Have you one money, honey, but put on your knees that day? Each other pull us closer together, possessed on dead or whatever among the death of the embers down in the nether, wherever we're tethered. Yeah, you lend up this member, but we've a connection that could never be severed. Man. His flow is still so incredible, even in this love song oh that was so good so good oh you dropped it gorgeous when a stomp on your head and you dropped it gorgeous oh, drop dead gore just oh chef's kiss beautiful man that's, you that's up worth hearing again you could never be seven oh you dropped it gorgeous when a stomp on your head and you dropped it what's a date night without just a spot of day aside wow wow that's a great lyric and also ripping your heart out and it drops me supplies which is not just video game tropes, but specifically the new Doom games. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. All of this is way better than I anticipated. Although I should have known, because it is Stupendium. Wow, all of that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Shotgun shells, yeah. I would go through hell for you till seven circles fell and heaven citadels are melted. The chainsaw is nice touch. I would go through hell for you. I would go through hell for you. Down where the devil dwells, my doubles rather than to fail to you. Random funny. <laughs> I mean I know it's not random in the game. I mean it's still random in the game. Watching it jumps. 
<laughs> and some of his best singing, I have to say. Usually he 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 does just hip hop, but when he gets into the vocalizations, this is the best I've heard. This this is quality stuff. Very good. Uh man. This is just inspired. This is so, so funny and relevant to the game, but also flipping it into a love song. Quality, quality comedy stuff. I love that kind of dichotomy between the subject matter and what the song is. Uh, it, it's something I kind of like to do a lot in my songs, too. And it's something that the best comedians do is you have... Uh, it's something that's the diametric opposite to what you're singing about. The subject matter of your song being something kind of tonality opposed... Opposed tonality... <laughs> being opposed in tone. I keep trying to say tonality issues, and it's not a word. Being opposed in tone to how the song sounds. So having a light, airy, poppy love song about a gory, graphic, demonic game. The the dichotomy between those two subjects and those two themes is brilliant comedy. And uh, this is one of the best examples of that that I've seen in his catalog. Uh, I, I love that kind of thing. Weird Al does that amazingly. Uh, I try to do that in a lot of my songs, having two diametrically opposed themes uh, be so prevalent in the song. It just makes for good comedy, you know? Uh, and, uh, and it's just, it's just fun. It's just a fun song because of that. Uh, and, you know, again, reacting to it from a perspective of a comedy musician, that's the kind of thing that I like to see because it's the, you know, the kind of thing that I try to do myself. So when somebody else does it and does it well, it just works on all levels for me. That's, that's just awesome. And rewind that a little bit. And the, the stuff with the helmet while he's doing dishes is uh, great comedy visuals too. <laughs> this stuff in the bad kills me. <laughs> Playing on the switch, of course. <laughs> I was waiting for an Animal Crossing reference, to be perfectly honest. Because, you know, as we know, Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons came out on the same day. That's just, that's just brilliant. That's just so good. I've been, and, you know, them referencing each other's games online was one of the best things to get you through the events of still going on currently. Uh, but, you know, that it, it, throwing that in there, to, to that that's perfect. It had to be there. That's so good. Switch kind of looked a little gunmetal gray. It was... <laughs> or a little, little green. Kind of the doom green. It was so good. Demonic Invasion descends. Turnip market collapses in wake of global satanic cataclysm. <laughs> <laughs> Dow Jones in ruins... I think that's on the Chiron for every Stupendium video, no matter what, honestly. <laughs> so many rose petals. Dude, the Doom helmet, so quality, too. It's so good. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and thanks to the lost souls of Patreon who buy their stuff made this that video one. possible. If you enjoyed this accursedly that heartfelt was excellent. Ballad, check the playlist for more infernally stupid songs. But make your ordains that you like, comment, <laughs> subscribe, and ring the bell to summon So thank you everybody who videos. suggested then that cast one eyes for me to react to. Or Patreon. Now I've got to go. I've got to catch more tarantulas before the cute chameleon comes back to my island. Okay. So <laughs> he's got to catch more tarantulas. <laughs> so that's an Animal Crossing reference. We know he's done a bunch of Animal Crossing songs. That's on the poll on my Patreon. Should I react to those? Or maybe one of the other subjects he's had? There's a lot of uh, 
Stupendium songs in the back catalog that I need to react to, so I'm having a poll on my Patreon. If you join the Patreon, even at the dollar level, you can uh, vote in that poll to help me decide which ones to react to next, and also, that gets your name in the end credits of these videos. Uh, higher dollar le levels get you more things, like songs and other stuff, but uh, just for a dollar, gets you the chance to vote in the polls and get your name in the end credits of my videos. Uh, now we're going to move on to his new song. Vending Machine of Love. The theme from Only Cans. Before I get into this, yes, there is a game out called Only Cans. Uh, it was released previously on... I, I, I think the website is called itch.io or something something similar to that. It's a gaming website. They have a bunch of free games and stuff on there. And the game was released for free. But apparently now the game is on Steam in a new edition of the game with this as the theme song. Stupendium apparently knows the people who made the game. They asked him to do the theme song for it. And it is on Steam now. And it is also free on Steam. Uh, this is the theme song. He's been tweeting about how this song is so very normal. Such a normal thing for him to do. In the game Only Cans, you're taking sexy pictures of canned soda pop. I say soda because I'm from the east coast of, of the United States. Some people say pop. Some people say cola, whatever. If you're from the south of the United... the southern part of the United States, you say Coke. Everything is Coke. Pepsi is Coke. Sprite is Coke. Mountain Dew is Coke. No, they're, they're sodas, in my estimation. Other people will say they're just pop. Uh, but yes, soda pop, beverages, soft drinks, what have you. Only cans. It's a thing, apparently. Looking forward to this completely normal song. A dear friend recently asked me to compose the theme song to his new game, Only Can's Thirst Date. This is that theme song. I would like to formally apologize in advance. about soft drinks <laughs> and nothing else. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> oh, there's be some innuendo here. Hey guys, are your lips dry? Any desiccated ladies trying to get by? Well, that's the way for the girls and the boys to come together and enjoy a little moisture. Like I said... Innuendo. Come together and enjoy a little moisture. I know some people are turned off by the word moist. And to that, I apologize for saying the word moist twice now. Hey guys, are your lips dry? Any desiccated ladies trying to get by? <laughs> desiccated well, ladies. For the girls and the boys to come together and enjoy a little moisture. So you're waiting on the mate that's one a million. Combination ain't the way that you envision. You say you're strange, but baby, shed your inner visions. Unless you take this into something aluminium. <laughs> One of my favorite uh, pronunciations fr differing from the American pron pronunciation is we say aluminum, they say aluminium. I love that. I, I love aluminium as a pronunciation for that word. I I again, that's something I, I bring up in these videos a lot. Uh, I also forgot to mention about the game, if you're not familiar, uh, the better pictures you take causes the cans to spray their liquids. It's a subtle game. Anyway. Trying to write innuendo about canned soft drinks. Who else could do it? No wonder they asked him. It, it just... It's, it's perfect for him. And, and this is the perfect theme song for such a game. Wow. This is... Again, thanks to Stupendium for sending this to me early so that I could react to it the same day that it comes out. Uh, yeah. Awesome.
Subtle bubbles in my stubble. Bubbles. <laughs> okay. Okay, I... I'm not touching that line. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let that stay on the screen for a moment. Totally normal song. So slot your pennies in the vending machine out of love And take that piece of it and mix it you've been dreaming now If it curse with the thirst of a lonely man <laughs> Get your juices flowing with some only cans Every glamorous can has a heart to fill So I hope that you can handle three thirty mils Get lost in the froth as the phonics man Get your love and while you're glad you're not some only cans now you've seen other taste at galleries But none of those girls taste like raspberries So if you think we're just some obscene cannery All our cans are over 18 calories so All our cans are over 18 calories This, this may be one of my favorite songs Already I can tell this may be like and I love a good majority of what I've heard of his especially the song I listened to just before this one But both of these songs today Yeah, they're they're up there for me this one especially I I love me some good cheeky innuendo man Yeah, yeah uh, And that that's an amazing shot as it is I love the the earring he's got for this video. It's good stuff. You see no the pace at galleries, but none of those girls taste like raspberries. So if you think we're just some obscene cannery, all our cans are over 18 calories. So give us prey for some flirtatious behavior. That come here, the hiss is what you came for. We've been brewing up a plethora of flavors. Say we're crude, you can never say we're tasteless. So if you drink it straight away with a mixer, bring a Mr. Rob and Mrs. Home for dinner. Everybody's got a different fizzle in their spritz. What's the matter what the ingredients around your stick? Yeah, I have a <laughs> This is already so so good. Oh man, I gotta I, I have to keep rewinding it because some of these lines are just so good. Just the the double, triple, quadruple entendres, all the innuendo stuffed into other innuendo, and yet it's about soft drinks. It's about soda. It's just... Oh, it's so good. Just the the sheer carbonation puns of... Because, you know, when you shake a show... So, when you... I have been... I need to get a new tongue. I need to have this one replaced. I lost the old one in the war. When you shake a soda up and it sprays, that's already innuendo-tastic. So... Quality, quality stuff here. Straight away the mixer. Bring a Mr. Rob and Mrs. Home for dinner. Everybody's got a different fizzle in the spritzer. What's the matter why the ingredients are on your stick? I have a met you all, but it's contextual. You're all impeccable. If it's consensual. Yes. If you're aced in the pan flexible. End of the day when you're all can sexual. Can sexual. It's just perfect. It's it's inclusive and puntastic. What more could you want? <laughs> oh, so impeccable if it's consensual. Bravo. Get 
Semi guarantee we call Maybe fizzy, but I'll spit a little candor. Sure is sticky, but we'll lick the spillage after. Oh dear. There's only one app for can for Landra. Snap it with the candy, but you can the camera on. Candid camera, nice. Uh, I've I've done another screen thing. This third verse has gone all cans, only cans, words with can in it, canyon and de decanter and. Oh, my brain has melted with the awesomeness of this f last verse. Oh, boy. That's a lot of can puns. Just using the word can and words with can. Decanter in that was probably the best one. And uh, you talk about skill in writing that right there. This, this whole verse is is some amazing skill share a cannoli cannoli <laughs> cannoli share a cannoli with italian cans come on man this is so good mexican i can't <laughs> i can't it's too good this is just mexicans in cancun can a can 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 spill spit a little candor i just Oh, god damn, this is so good. I had to rewind to the whole beginning of that verse. <laughs> the eyebrow raise. Maybe fizzy, but I'll spit a little candor. Sure is sticky, but we'll lick the spillage after. There's only one appetite can for Landra. Snap it with the candy, with your candy camera. With the candy, with the candy camera. Perfect. So good. Amazing. Like, there are artists that you aspire to be as good as, and then there are artists that you know, no matter what, you will pale in comparison to. And for me, it's the stupendium. I'm a decent writer. I know that. I can write stuff. I cannot write something like that. It would take me a million years to write something that good. And I'm clever. I'm a smart guy. But man, that verse alone is award-winning. If it should be award-winning. That is one of the best thematically written verses I've heard in a very long time in a comedy song or in any song. That is so, so good. Wow. And the editing is so good. Wow. Just bravo. Every glamorous can has a heart 
lots of pills. Oh, I hope that you can handle great bread and milk. Hey, don't touch, just hold the cam. Get your level while you're <laughs> cam. Just hold the cam. So download only cam. the episode of Lovers. It's got very high ratings. <laughs> uh, oh, no, sorry, it's, it's very hydrating. My mistake. <laughs> I'm very sorry you had to see that. And an even greater apology to my patrons that you now have your names irrevocably attached to it. <laughs> Only Cans is a free game, now available on Steam, directed by a dear friend of mine. Like I said. When I was asked if I'd compose a theme song for it, I did what any good friend would do, and made a wholesome song about soft drinks. And nothing else. Right. If you enjoyed the song, please get help. But after <laughs> that, also like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed the song, please get help. I'm sorry, but that song's a bop. I'm not gonna lie. That is... <laughs> that is a damn good song. And like I said, that third verse is just so quality. You r just riffing on the word can through the whole thing, that whole verse. So quality. Man, that's good. Go support the, p the Stupendium. His Patreon is uh, on the screen somewhere. You know, you can find him. It's the Stupendium. He's got it on his channel. The original videos are in the description below. Check those out. Go support the Stupendium. If you'd like to support me, I have my own Patreon, which you can see here on the screen. And Or just like, share, comment, and subscribe to my videos. That helps me out a great deal, too. Holy cow! That was amazing. Um, some great songs for the holiday of love. Anyway... Uh, if you want to go vote in the poll, that's on my Patreon. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. And uh, thanks to Stupendium for not only making that song, but letting me see it early so I could react to it. See you all next time. Bye. You can check the playlist for more songs, the Patreon, the merch store. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I've got to go. The bubble machines made everything so sticky. Oh, God. Goodbye to Sci-Fi Channel, getting wasted with my friends. Cheese is all I'm looking forward to. Meatloaf now.